KTSA Mysteries. Facebook detectives, we need your help in solving a crime. It all started Thursday afternoon when KTSA host Sean Rima started discussing his favorite pizza joints. Little did he know this was all just the beginning. I have not once been able to enjoy my favorite delivery pizza, which is... Papa John's. The next day, Rima arrived at the KTSA studio hours after a mystery delivery of his beloved Papa John's pizza. And I haven't had Papa John's in so long. My mouth is watering. So happy. I saw the pictures. There was just a whole bunch of pizzas. Whole bunch of Papa John's pizzas. Right here in the newsroom. And we're here in the newsroom. only to learn just a half-eaten slice remained. Hours later, after pleas for help, a KTSA listener made a sweet-smelling, savory-tasting donation to Sean's cause. Mary Kay wrote a very affectionate note right here. Nothing worth than a whiny radio announcer. Enjoy, Mary Kay. Dropping so, off two pizzas and two sheets of brownies, but even that generous offering was pillaged by the wild radio barbarian tribe circulating around the KTSA compound. What the whole... Ah. No, you. You broke the crust off of all of them? Did you do that? Who did that? Who freaking put the... <laughs> what the... <laughs> People are sadists. Suspect one, Chris Glasgow. The quick-witted button pusher may have pushed one button too many. Here he's seen carrying the dismembered pizza to Sean, clearly making him a prime suspect in this atrocity. He's Wait, also seen here and here nibbling and, on some pizza, yeah, nipple marks similar to the lonely crustless slice of pizza left behind. Suspect 2. ESPN San Antonio's Jason Minix. The sports broadcaster may think this is all just a game, but it's as heinous as it gets. Here he's seen openly mocking the victim, posing with a fresh box of pizza with his own slice in hand. Those greasy fingers may land him in the big house for the sleazy crime. Suspect 3, Sam I Am from Jack FM. Just because Jack FM plays what it wants doesn't mean Sam I Am can just eat what he wants. The first sign of organized criminal behavior is when the underlings learn and implement the teachings of their overlords. Jack FM is an extremely charismatic mastermind and dictator. Sure, Sam I Am said no at first to the pizza, but who requests pizza that's shaped like pizza? Is pizza a triangle or a circle? And how does a man who always encounters unsliced pizza always appear with a knife? Suspect 4, KTSA's Don Morgan. The most common criminal is the criminal the victim knows best. Newsman Don Morgan certainly fits that bill. It's egregious the man of most ethics is seen on camera trying to pawn off pizza on unsuspecting radio personalities. He then comes back to the scene of the crime to assist in the investigation. You can't fool us, Captain Morgan. Suspect 5, Sean Rima. Maybe the victim is actually the crook. Who are we to believe Sean Rima's tale is true, that it's truly his pizza? Are we to trust someone who not only complained about his missing pizza, but also cried crocodile tears over his missing libations? You know, a listener brought me a couple of bottles of tequila earlier today, and they're gone, man. All right, just the people around here, a bunch of alcoholics, they just drank all the tequila. One possible theory is that the pizzas actually belong to Don Morgan, and Sean Rhyme is trying to claim them as his own. Could this be a case of show host eminent domain? Go on, get out of here. Go, on, go do your job. Go do some news crap. Go on. Go gather some news. You want a brownie? Good job. Facebook detectives, who do you think's the crook in this case? Let us know in the comments below. With this KTSA mystery, I'm Dennis Foley, KTSA News. News, traffic, and weather. Stay connected. News Talk 550 KTSA and FM 1071.